Hey GED students, let's mix it up and practice these basic operations with a little bit of algebra thrown in. That's why we're putting it at the experience level more than one skill. Let's take a look. It says determine which operation is indicated by each statement. So I just remind you again, all they're asking us to do here is determine the operation. <laughs> Guys, we're just supposed to tell them, are we adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing, etc. What are they asking us to do? And let's take a look here. First one says the difference between X and Y. Difference, difference means subtract. They are asking us to do subtraction. Now, if you're an experience level student, I'm gonna expect you to not be too surprised that it's not just subtraction, it's also absolute value. Now you don't, this isn't in the ad answer key, you don't have to put this down here. But we're supposed to know that difference is always, always, always positive. It's not just subtraction, it's positive subtraction. And so if you were to combine these two things, you were to subtract the numbers and use the absolute value, what is it, X and Y, then you would definitely get the difference. So yes, subtraction, but subtraction with an asterisk. <laughs> and then we also learned that a difference has a synonym. There's another word that means the exact same thing, and that's distance. So if we're finding the distance between A and B on the number line, again, we can subtract A and B, but once again, asterisks, because distance, like difference, is always positive. We would want to use absolute value as well. And again, you're not going to see absolute value in the answer key, because that's not the main thing I was asking, but you need to be able to roll with that for the non-calculator section. Okay, let's look at the next one. The quotient of 75 divided by B. Quotient's always easy because mm, I can't really use it without using the word divided. <laughs> so um, what does quotient mean? It means I'd like you to divide. That indicates division. Now, this one's new uh, for some of us. And again, why it's at the experience level practice because not all students have heard of it yet. But a number G squared. Do you know what operation is signified by the word squared? We're talking about squaring or the second power. Same difference. And that is the operation there. I really don't care which one you say. Squaring, second power, same difference. And then finally, the product of Q and 6. And I always tell students, if you're going to remember any of these lovely vocab words from this lesson, please, 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 please remember product because they love it on the GED. Now, the product of Q and 6, what are they asking us to do with Q and 6? If they use the word product, that's a multiplication expression. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.